they aired on Wednesday this week because some event happened on Tuesday. Couldn't tell you what it is. Um, so they had to move it to Wednesday when we got so we got the Wednesday night wars of NXT going head to head against AEW. And the results are in, Sarah. Mm-hmm. AEW lost again. They lost again. Mm-hmm. They lost to NXT. NXT pulled in six one <laughs> booyaka booyaka, uh, six hundred and nineteen thousand viewers. <laughs> AEW brought in five hundred and twenty three thousand. Uh, yeah, I don't so know I mean, what the point is. One six and I, yeah. P. I don't get that, and I even went to that type of school. But point so is, it- AEW lost again. Yeah, I mean it's it's a small margin, but when you consider that NXT, even if you know we've sat here and praised it and said it's been better than Raw and SmackDown, it's still only their developmental brand. It's not supposed to be better than their you know another company's flagship program, um, and it has been consistently. Like it doesn't matter. They air on different nights. They still beat them. They go head to head. They beat them. Like it's. And, and like I said, there are AEW fans who are upset about this, obviously. I think that uh, the weekly numbers when they're on Tuesday and Wednesday, I don't think that's necessary because they're airing on different nights and up against different stuff. So I don't think that they need to do that every week like some aggregator accounts do. But when they mm-hmm. go head to head, people are going to be interested to see, OK, how do, how are the numbers playing out? Right. So like exactly. it makes sense. But I think the people who are AEW fans and that's their show, like they're very anti WWE. As I said to you before we went live, like just accept where they're at. Like, who cares if they didn't beat NXT? Like, do you care? Does that mean you're going to stop watching, uh, you know, on Wednesdays? Are you going to stop watching it? No. No. They lost it's like, because WWE is the number one promotion. They and are the, fact, the number I mean, one. If you want to try and look at it, it's like they didn't even lose by 100,000. So yeah, they're getting better. That's what I've been saying this entire time. Like, you can see a shift in AEW where it's get it. The product is getting better. The storytelling is getting better. The people that they're bringing in, the younger stars that were just lower level jobbers, lower mid carders jobbers, and they're coming into a whole new role, getting better. Like you have have to take the small wins when you can get them. And look at they've only been around for five years. That's incredible. Well, and I feel like a, such a broken record because it's like. I've we, we've said this so many times, you know, like just accept AEW where they're at, accept how much they have grown since they started, you know, Ac- accept funny. like the potential that they have to grow further. It's just I think that people just love to be miserable. So they just look for yeah. things to be miserable and to complain about. And it's like so there's nothing that can ever make them happy. And it's like, okay, just watch Dynamite, dude. Like, who cares if NXT did better? You're not watching it. You don't like WWE stuff, so then stop caring. Like, I I don't care about what AEW is doing. You know what I mean? Because I don't watch. I don't care. I I don't know. I I just think that people just need to be like, chill out. It's not that big of a deal. Misery loves company. Mm -hmm. Let's remember that. 